So a lot of my subscribers have been asking me about how to do remote access for Home Assistant without having to use Nebuchadnezzar. Now I've discovered a way to do it. It's not a full remote access, but I'm able to access all of my devices, sensors, cameras, everything without having to go through all the hassle of poking a hole through my firewall, creating SSL certificates and all these other things because I'm not an IT guy. So let me show you how I've done it. So the way that I'm going to do this is through the Apple HomeKit integration with Home Assistant. So what we do, first of all, we go to settings and we go to our devices and services and we're going to add an integration and we're going to select HomeKit. So there we go, Apple, and we want HomeKit Bridge. That's the one. So if you look here, you can actually select which domains you want it to pull in. So I'm going to say I want my camera, I want some climates, uh, the covers, I'm not yet, we can put the covers in, that's some um, opening my curtains, um, the, let's see what else we want, uh, we'll bring some sensors in, we don't need a vacuum, we don't need a water heater, um, we can have some scenes, we don't need a remote, uh, media player we want, yes, uh, lock we don't want, lights we do um and let's see what else um we'll see if we've got a button and all right we've got no alarm control panel all right so we've selected all of those now i'm going to go submit and i'm going to say submit and my um apple homepod is sitting in the living room or the lounge room let's go there so we go finish all right so that is now created there you could hear my phone having a ding so now you open up your home kit app on the phone and you go add accessory it'll switch the camera on and now we go into home assistant and we go into notifications there's our home kit pairing qr code and the camera will now lock onto that and it will start setting that bridge up for you all on its own it's telling you that it's not a home kit certified product that's fine just go ahead and now it will start adding all of those entities that you set up when you were creating that bridge don't worry if you missed a few, you can always go and add another bridge at a later stage. So there we go, it's created our bridge and it is now linking all the devices as you can see, going in through each and every device and entity and linking it up and assigning a, a room to it. If we look down there, you can see there we've got all our entities showing in HomeKit. These are now available remotely. Um, you can see there we can switch switches on and off. We can go into our different entities we've got blinds there we can adjust how far open or closed the blinds are we can go along and we can have a look at our um, our temperatures for example oh there's our lights so we can basically adjust the brightness of the light but also the color and we can even go into our temperatures and basically you can see there all of my temperatures in my home assistant so that is how easy it is to set up and this is giving you remote access without having to pay Nabucasa. <laughs>